Hey, how you doing? Well, it's all right. It's my birthday, girl. Come on. They used to your voice. Okay. Um, so anyway. <laughs> so I'm coming to you. This is like the third video today. I know. Getting a little time esque going in. I'm sorry. But um, I was supposed to put up the 4th of July video yesterday. Yeah, but um, yeah, I was tired. If you didn't watch Tom's video talking about the parkway, how long it is, it's long. And I've walked it. And then we had more walking. And then frustration. And then some more walking. I was tired. I was tired. I'm, you're young. Shut up. I'm old. I'm tired. Okay? So anyway, like I said. Happy birds. I mean angry birds. I don't even know. I was tired. I was out of it. It was a long day. It was frustrating. Yesterday was frustrating. I didn't want to, didn't feel like doing too much of nothing. So I posted it today. I actually wanted to post it that night, but we got back in the house at like a little after two in the morning, I believe. Well, let me tell you. Now, say this is the parkway. This is the art museum. This is where the fountain is way down the road. Like five blocks away. This is where we were. So that we could make a good escape because the people down here are going to travel up here and exit to get to the buses and all the parking lots. So, let's just say, I know you don't know what 19th Street is, but you know what 19 is. I go up 19, we go up 19th Street. The bus usually runs on 20th Street. We go to 20th Street. The cop tell us it's running on 16th Street. We go to 16th Street. Get to 16th Street, wait about a half an hour. I done had a full conversation with somebody I done ran into. We see buses up the street. One of them just sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, and sitting there. Yeah, and didn't move. Then some more buses came, and they turned off. None of the buses we needed to come up came up the street. The bus we needed came the total opposite wrong, uh, wrong direction and passed everybody who was on the corner. So we wound up walking all the way over to we'll just call it 14th street so we walked there caught the subway up to the closest point where we could get to our car and then had to walk over some more i mean i was so tired the kids were tired they slept good that day the next day so let that count for my exercise for this week because I haven't done an official weight loss video related video in a while so also there will be updates coming up being as though that I have not one not two but three doctor's appointments next week I go see my primary care I see my surgeon and I see my hematologist the primary care is a follow-up we wanted me to lose five 20. i told him i had bariatric surgery he's like oh i want you to lose five five pounds in five weeks yeah i when he said that i had came back like two a week later and had lost four pounds and i was like well i'm most of the way there I ain't got nothing else to do for the for the time, but you know I was just BSing with that. So he just wants he wants to check my weight and check my blood. My blood has been good. It was up to a twelve. He did a total, a complete blood count, and the blood I that got from the transfusion is held tight, held pretty good. And honestly, I could tell the difference. Um, usually, what comes with being anemic. Um, you get the the urges to eat ice and and other stuff. So I don't have a, an urge to eat ice like I used to. I mean, I could tear up me up some ice. I don't have that urge at all. I see the ice and it's just hmm, it's just ice. 
And like I used to eat cornstarch. I know that's a bad habit, blah, 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 blah. I know, I know. But guess what? I have no urges for that. Cold turkey. I haven't had that in a long time either. Yeah. yeah. So, honestly, this blood is take, take, took hold pretty good. I'm doing three iron pills a day around my period. But nor, um, normally I'm doing two pills a day, morning and evening. Also, it depends on how I'm feeling. If I miss um, one from the next day, I might make it the next day a three just to keep it up because I'm not trying to go through a, a transfusion again. Um, that's what the hematologist is for. He's just going to make sure my blood is okay as long as I don't have to get another infusion. I might have to go back to him uh, a couple couple times after that just to keep an eye out for the long run with that. And then I go to my surgeons. I haven't seen my surgeon in a while. And um, I'm honestly going to try to get to one of the support group meetings. I feel as though it's important to do it now more than ever. I was been supposed to have done it, but I got caught up in a whole bunch of personal life stuff. But um, I'm not saying my Will's family here on YouTube and Facebook aren't supportive. You know what I mean? But it's something I want to do. Like, because we all had different surgeons and stuff like that. Before we sit down with somebody, we had the same surgeon as me. We got the same guidelines and stuff like that. So, he's being annoying. <laughs> um, what else? So, you will get a weight update next week. Uh, a walk with me video. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow morning. I think I will take a minute. But anyhow, um, a walk with me video. My new neighborhood. Um, I have lost weight. I know I, I haven't reached Wonderland yet, but I have lost weight. And I'm not going to announce mm -hmm. it until I get it on the official scale. Because I have issues with my digital scale. No, I don't have issues with my digital scale. I have issues with my bathroom floor. Now, if I go and put the scale in front of the sink, I'm 10 pounds heavier than what I should be. If I put it near the door across the room, I'm 5 to 10 pounds lighter than what I should be. And if I put it in the middle, I'm, any, I'm, I'm about 5 pounds or so off. But it, either way, it's off. And like, it's not level, and, and it's it's driving me crazy because I want to accurate doing a uh, reading without having to bring it like downstairs. <laughs> Why should I go outside to weigh myself? This is like stupid, stupid bathroom floor, and stupid non-leveling having people. You need a leveler. Anyhow. I'll give you officials next week. It's busy week, busy, busy week. Got to meet up with Tom. Got to take care of some business. This East Coast meet and greet. Really looking forward to it. Uh, got to break things down a bit. It's going to be a little bit stressful, but it's okay. Because, you know, we won't get there. I done had some personal stuff come up where I have to take care of first and foremost. But my butt's gonna be there. I gotta stretch this out, this pavement out a little bit. I will be there. Um, I'm getting words from people who are still trying to go. Can you get your, uh, contact me so I can send you the information. All the information that you need. We'll be glad to have you. We'd love to have you. It'll be a hell of, a, of an event. Um... Anything else? That's about it. Oh, I'm working on getting over a half a gallon of water in me a day. I have a half a gallon um, Diet Turkey Hill bottle, and I know I could go through it in a day. So, and I'm my surgeon said I need to have 64, but I want to bring that up because though I get. 
dehydrate it really easy and yeah it's a ton of time so i have drinks here and there and that dehydrates you too so i'm thinking i want to bring it up to uh at least the 90s i think that should be enough i should be well hydrated and i also know i need to get me some vitamin d supplements that's the only issues i'm having right now um weight loss weight loss here's a quick moment for you Ooh. while i was out the fourth of july I met my inspiration for getting weight loss surgery. Uh, it was my oldest children's uh, father. Their her his cousin. Now this woman, ever since I met her, was let's just say close to six hundred pounds. And I ran into her. Well, I didn't run into her. It was a party and for the kids. And it was about three years ago. Three and a half, let's say, let's say three and a half years ago. And she had the surgery. Now, she was still a newbie then, but she had lost a good amount. And we sat down, we talked, we cried. I think I shared this story. And she was real influential and inspirational in getting weight loss surgery. Now I seen her, as the, uh, seen her on my way home on the Fourth of July. Now she was close to six hundred pounds. Now she looks like she's in her early two hundreds, well, middle two hundreds, I would say, and that's damn good compared to where she was. She looks so much better. She's so happy and perky. Well, she she wasn't truly happy and perky before. She had her moments, but you could tell the difference now. She looks absolutely fabulous. And we sat there and we talked a bit, and she, she told me how I looked like I was under two hundred. Uh, under two hundred. I was like, mm, girl, thank you, but I'll be there soon. I am working on it. It is a work in progress. Baby steps are fine. It's the steps that go backwards that mess you up. And I'm not going backwards. I'm not going back to where I used to be. That was a fun moment. Uh, uh, running into her again and sharing our uh, losses. Um, that's all right. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, until next week, videos are coming. Probably will be one more before the end of this week is out. The Walk With Me video. So, I will talk to you guys on the flip side.